Well, good afternoon, people of YouTube. This is, uh, this is one of those videos where I did an entire video yesterday recording my full install and all the stuff that went along with it. And I tried to edit it today and I saw that I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. So as much as I tried to shoot a video for all of you yesterday, it just didn't come out well and I, I'm not gonna subject you to that. So without further ado, here's what we got. Today, it's all about the Wrangler. It's all about the Wrangler and sound. Because the big thing about a Wrangler is being open, right? But audio is always an issue. Because you have such an open area, audio never sounds good. So, what can you do? Hey, yo, it's all lovely. It's all lovely. Get stupid. I can get stupid. You know what to do. Most people install a soundbar like this, or your Jeep might have already come with one. And then sometimes you upgrade your speakers in your dash like this, but those are only usually four by sixes and they they don't sound very well because they're in an area where you're not getting a lot of audio hitting your ear, and especially if you have your doors off like this. So what you do is you install that. That is a speaker pod from VDP, which is short for Vertically Driven Products. They're the same people that made the console that I installed in an earlier video, which you can see right here. And installation for that is very easy. Now look, I've tried everything. I've tried putting a sub in the back. I've tried upgrading these speakers. I've tried, if you look, these are kickers. They're, they're not cheap speakers. And if any of you know what it takes to take apart a YJ dash to put in speakers, you know that I, I was very serious about it. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to matter. They don't sound loud. Even with a totally decent head unit, this is the uh, Pioneer HX6700 with Bluetooth, puts out some good wattage, but it just didn't make them sound good. So when I saw this on Quadratech, it was relatively inexpensive. I think it was around 70 bucks. Uh, $65, $70, and I had already gotten VDP products, again, center console. I said, you know what, let's give it a shot. Now you can order it with lighted up speakers. I chose not to do that because I wanted to add my own speak. And these speakers are nothing special. They are a set of Blaupunk from Amazon. They were $26, I think. They were relatively inexpensive because I imagine they're probably gonna get dirty, they're probably gonna get wet. So these are cheap power acoustic one inch tweeters tied into these speakers. And how to mount this, it simply sits right in the center. And all I did was put, it was had a self tapper here and a self tapper here, and now it's very secure. And the improvement was almost immediate. We drove around last night, the sound was phenomenal. And as you can see, my speakers have already been upgraded to kickers. Well, I, I recommend these kickers to anyone. These are the DS five and quarters, and they sound fantastic. Again, I installed this whole thing and I recorded it and I played it back and I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't into it and I didn't want to put you put you through that because that's not that's not what this is all about. So anyway, got this installed last night, drove around, sounded great, even over the exhaust. We still had a good sound. I recommend it. Links in the description below for both the speakers, the tweeters, and the speaker pod from VDP. And now I'd love to play tunes for you all, but of course YouTube would instantly mark it as something we couldn't play. Truly, the effect would be lost if I tried to play that music for you on YouTube. You know, compression algorithms and whatnot, they wouldn't get to your, to your ear holes the same that uh, just experiencing it would. So get out there, get yourself a VDP speaker pod, put it in your Jeep, and enjoy. That's all for today. So be sure and like and subscribe and tune in. And thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Yeet. That's for the deer. Bonus content. Everybody asked me about this too. This little cup holder thing is made out of plastic.
So if you pick one up, just know that it's it's got a really good look to it. It looks like it's made out of something sturdy, but it is plastic. Hey, holds the drinks just fine. So that'll do it for today. Thanks a lot.